Hello and welcome to PlayStation Mesa. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are carrying on with menu book number 39 which is the last of the initial set of menu books. Today we are off to race two of the World GT series. We're at the Spa racetrack, a racetrack that we know very well but that is also very taxing. We're going to be doing five laps starting at the back of the grid and I'll remind you that we have got a harder than usual setting. So we are going to need to really run because we've already dropped a good number of points at the last race. So I'm just double checking the settings on the car just to see if there is any additional performance that we can possibly get out of this car because we did struggle quite a fair bit in the last one and maybe I should have reset some of these uh, parameters to give us a little bit of an extra chance. It was a, a bit of a rookie error. I should have checked the car out before we run, uh, but we did make our life difficult for ourselves. So hopefully by making those few changes, it might just give us a little bit more of an edge in this race. So let's get on with the race and see how we can do at this iconic spa racetrack. Starting in 20th, the weather looks okay. Coming down into the first corner, we're looking for the breaking point down into second, getting it turned in and over the corner. And then it's a long run down here to a Rouge where we need to be really brave. But we've also got to be minded of traffic. Now I am narrating this one rather than uh, talking it through one and driving. Uh, these five races of this is the second of the five races. Uh, they really took a lot of concentration on my part and uh, I really didn't get on very well talking while I was racing. So yeah, I am narrating afterwards. So as we come down into the chicane, we're looking to break at the beginning of those curves, get it slow, slow down a straight line, using loads of the green area there and on the exit. And again, as we sweep across here, looking for those little bollards that stick up, you almost want to try and hit them whilst also getting just inside of them. Same here. You can use these bollards, I'm going a bit wide there. You can use those bollards to ease the car around. Same with this one. So all the way through that, sec that, uh, that little sequence, you've got those bollards as markers to mark out the, uh, the apexes. So this one is pretty quick through here. So I'm trying fifth gear. Just caught the Audi at the wrong time on the exit. But this car is really sticking quite nicely to the track and we can really get a really decent turn for speed. We're up into 17th at the moment. We've got five laps to do this. And I'll remind you, if you watched the last video, you will know that we've really got to go. I, I didn't make too many mistakes in the last race, uh, but still I only managed to get, I think it was fourth place. So today we really do need to get up in the podium places, uh, preferably first place to get a maximum of 12 points to give us an opportunity to remain on the podium and claim one of those amazing cars. We are, we've got the opportunity of a Porsche, a Pagani Zonda and the Lamborghini Aventador. So we've got one of three really nice cars to win at the end of this, as well as 250,000 credits. Got out on the uh, curbs there which has lost us some significant time. We could really have done with being on the back of this group of cars as we go around this first corner and down the hill into Rouge, just so that we can be on the back of them whilst we go down, I think it's the Camel Straight, uh, and to do some overtaking with slipstreaming. So being really brave into this corner, so we go up the top of Rouge, be careful not to run into the back of the Ferrari I did actually cut the corner a little bit there, but we really do need to get the slipstream down here and get past as many of these cars as we can. Just got past two, didn't quite manage to get past the, uh, the Nismo through the chicane. So we'll just tuck in behind, see if we can go underneath him on the way through this corner. We get that one, he's still there, he's still there. Now we get that done. We've then got the Viper up ahead. The Viper is pretty quick in a straight line, but um, we can normally catch him through the corners. So if we can keep on pushing, 
through this little section hopefully we should be able to get up into 11th place uh, not making too much time up on him we're a bit under braking but we do go horrendously wide there getting it back on the track just not losing our head too much at the moment looking for the braking point at the beginning of that curve bury the brake pedal when it turned in again we've got Bollance to help us with these corners we've got two cars together here now the Viper and the Porsche so we need to do both of these so a quick dive down inside the Viper for one getting slowed down before the Porsche now we need to do the same thing for this Porsche there's a fairly good chance that we're going to struggle to do this on one of these long runs However, the game proves me wrong, we managed to get a slipstream, we get a slingshot and a nice inside line for this corner, which is really good. Brave through here, six gear, flat out, heart in the mouth stuff. We come underneath this boarding, looking for that white line, I usually bury the brake pedal on that white line to get it turn, slowed down. Before the chicane, second gear through here, back on the power as quick as we can, and at the end of that lap, lap two believe it or not we are up into 10th place now i remind you that we've already dropped points we really need to maximize the points at this race and at the moment with three laps basically to run we really need to be moving up through the places quicker than this looking at the little map in the top right hand corner you can see that we've got a couple of cars here that we can get past but there is a little group, possibly first and second, maybe first, second and third, that are getting away and we are going to need to get through these cars quickly so that we can get on the back of the leaders. So braking hard into this first chicane, right, left over the curbs, leave it in third gear, over there, let it drift out, up into fourth briefly, up into fifth, and we come back down to fourth, third, just get it slowed down, running a little bit close to the Supra. A possible love tap on the way through there. Brave going up the inside. Managed to make that one stick on the Mazda. We've then got 6th and 5th in front of us. We can be really brave around the outside. They're braking. 5th gear, can we carry the speed around the outside? The BMW pushes a little bit wide and we spin. That is really not what we need right now managed to do a full 360 got it facing the right direction but that could that could cost us massive right now that could be a problem so we need to settle down and see if we can get on the back of that group and then see if we can salvage something from this race i think that was just a little bit too much speed a little bit bold on the way through i've seen that move so many times where cars are in dirty air and they're trying to go sweeping around the outside and uh, very often the okay, front end swap unfortunately that's what happened to us talent ran out halfway through the corner and now we're a little bit on the back foot maybe in hindsight should have held back and done a cleaner move down one of these longer straights but thankfully we have under braking managed to catch up so that's seventh in front of us the little gaggle of cars are still there so if we can get a good break into this first corner so looking for about the 75 meter board getting it turned in over that curb it's come down the inside of this car in front that's not going to happen we have to go around the outside just need to get this move done before i ruse car is just falling away now. We need to be mighty through here and carry as much speed as we can down the straight. We need to get on the back of the BMW. We've got a nice run on the BMW. That's going to slingshot us past both of those two cars. So both the BMWs done. They're both pretty much still there. Only three tenths of a second behind. So we need to break really, really late. Get it turned in. Over that curb. Over the left-hander quick sprint to the next corner just come off the accelerator get it turned in over the top up into fourth up into fifth we'll then get it slowed down into third we'll leave it in third through here and just see if we can get on the power quickly up into this corner here on the power 
up into fourth, up into fifth. Going to have to need to be mighty through here. Chickened out a little bit, dropped it down into fourth gear. Just a little bit uncertain with the car in front. Really don't want to be running into anybody at this stage of the game. Again, just backing out of that one, just to be careful. We really don't want to be spinning around yet again as we did earlier on. We want to try and keep this as clean as possible. And we just need to try and bring this home. We really cannot afford another spin at this stage of this race. So we just got a, this corner, this left hander down the hill to the chicane. That will be the end of the fourth lap. We'll go into lap number five, which is the last lap. And we're in fourth place. We really, 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 really need to get up amongst the leaders right now. We really can't leave this too much longer. So second gear through there. As soon as we get it straight on the power, up into third, up into fourth, getting those res building, up into fifth, watching for a braking point, round up between the two boards, hit the brake pedal, watching for that uh, inside curb, being careful as we exit, back on the power as soon as possible. Third, fourth, up into fifth, we're going to need to be really brave for our rouge. We really, really, really must carry a lot of speed down a camel straight this time. Try not to lose it. Oh, we go over the top of our rouge. Ah, that's a little bit of a cheat. I did try and make the corner, but uh, it was just carrying a little bit too much speed through there. That is going to give us an opportunity down the straight. Did we get a penalty? It doesn't look like we did. It looks like we might have actually got away with that. I'm not necessarily happy about that move, but people do sometimes skip across the top where they take a rouge a little bit too quickly. So this is now game on. We've got third, second and first place all together in front of us. Second through here, up into third. Just watching these cars in front, being careful not to run into the back of them, thinking about where we're going to do the overtake. Can we do up the inside of this one? Yes, we can. Can we go around the outside of this second place car? Being careful not to run too wide. We get it off the track, keep the power down. Slight advantage there, but we didn't really make too much of an advantage on the car in front. These AI cars with the hard setting are not necessarily braking heavily in the middle of the corners. So it is enabling us to carry a lot of momentum through the corner. Uh, but they do tend to brake quite early for the corner. Earlier than I would do, but then they carry more speed through. So as we are coming into the closing stages of this lap, can we pull an audacious move on these two cars? Looks like the second place car is having a look at the first. We've got some great drive down here. Oh, just caught the uh, the Honda on the way through. That sunset settled us really badly. Just managed to catch that height in the steering wheel. That has given the car in front an opportunity to get away from us. We're not going to catch him as we exit the, uh, the chicane. Just working to keep the uh, car behind us and that's going to give us second. We really needed first. But at least we have got some decent points from this one, better than the last race. Very, very close to first. Ah, silver for that one. And annoyingly, the uh, Heisel has got two 12 pointers and we've got a 7 and a 10. So we are some significant points adrift of the leader at the moment. As we head into race number three, we are really going to have to have a race with no mistakes and try and maximize our points pool as we head into the World GT Series Race 3, which is going to be at Le Mans. This is my grinding track, a track that I know pretty well. Slipstreaming will be all important for us on this particular race, plus the technical section. It should be at Blinder. Please join us. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and support the channel. Hit that bell button for notifications of that video coming very, very soon. In the meantime, thanks ever so much for watching and thank you to everybody that's subscribing to me. We just hit 200 subscribers today as I record this video or produce it. Massive thank you to everybody that's supporting me. In the meantime, bye for now.